Tony had a sore ankle from his last football game, and the doctor he had seen had told him that it was just a light sprain. It would heal shortly, but not keep him from competing. It was not the injury to the ankle, but that straining it before it heals will make other injuries far more likely. It was just so painful that he limped. The coach, when he talked to him about it, noted that the team had a chance to take the Simmons Trophy, and his sitting out the game would reduce their chance of beating Clyde in their final game. You need to think what this means to the school. That set Tony to thinking. Did the school have different values than the students? In the end, the choice would be his. But what was this about a school purpose? Whose purpose was this? He knew his parents had purpose. That is why he was in school. It was to get an education, to come out as an effective adult. He knew the teachers had a purpose, but it was also focused on his coming out as an educated adult. Who was it who had some different purpose? Say hello to the enemy of civilization. It is a spirit that, for the good of the students, is willing to sacrifice a student. It is gathering of people who, like a mob, have so little sense of purpose that they can accept a group purpose that is not the purpose of the people in the group. It is seen in a national government that is willing to sacrifice the wealth of its people and the lives of its young men to accomplish some political influence that is not so heavily valued by the people of the nation. While this enemy is encountered in most corporate gatherings, it is most visible in associations where the people are not gathered for any performance purpose, but are simply associated with each other. It is then that any leadership can claim purpose based on being correct or authoritative without having any real support for the claim. Performance analysis is cruel in its simplicity. If people are compelled to act to a purpose that is not their own, then they are being denied personal freedom. If people are taxed to support a war that provides the people no benefit, their prosperity is being taken. The purpose of this enemy is anti-human. It is to assault the welfare of the family, to deny or limit personal freedoms, and to reduce personal prosperity. So what is it to a student? Does it impact upon education? The answer is an interference with the students growing into an effective adult. It is seen in doing things for the good of the school or furtherance of education or for political reasons instead of for the purpose of the students, parents, and teachers. It is distraction from the purpose of education to see to other purposes that are not the purposes of the people. In the United States, it is probably most clearly seen in teaching regular classes in Spanish for Spanish-speaking students and teaching eubonics in, as a dialect of English. It is teaching that interference with communication among U.S. citizens as if this was some sort of benefit for students. It is redirecting of communication from learning to communicate among citizens to other purposes, purposes that interfere with open communication. This is the enemy of civilization in full display, teaching language as a social lesson that divides people of the nation instead of bringing them to common understandings. The enemy is seen in teaching black history as if people have been living in two separate worlds. Again, it is teaching of separation and enforced division instead of bringing people together to gain anything. Who does it serve? Who is it that benefits from teaching division and separation? Who benefits when graduates from our public education cannot even understand each other clearly? It does not serve the students. It does not serve their parents. It certainly does not serve the teachers. With performance orientation, we see that it does not serve the public. As a student, there is little that you can do to avoid this abuse of education. You are intentionally the subject of it. What you can do is focus on your own personal time and effort and becoming an effective adult. You do not have to commit your efforts to damaging your own future. As a teenager, you will increasingly be able to direct your efforts to what will serve your personal and social purpose, and that will aid you in becoming able to draw together with others, adults, to accomplish what you all value. Where you as a student choose to commit your own time and effort, 
to see to your own understanding of educational purpose, you will almost certainly gain the support of both parents and teachers. Your efforts to become an effective adult are in accord with the larger public purpose and with the purpose of people in general. 